if you first saw the report from Adam Schefter on Twitter, you checked like three times to see if it was at Darren Schefter. If you heard him say it on TV, you asked for a birth certificate to make sure it wasn't Frank Caliendo. I mean, that's how far out of left field this came. Cleveland Browns statement saying they're still in the process of composing the list of head coaching candidates and former Secretary of State Rice has not been discussed. It's got to go down as one of the most bizarre football statements of all time that you never thought you would ever see. Rice's statement did advocate for women coaches, but also essentially said, let's be serious here. I'm not ready to coach, and I'd love to call a play next year if the Browns need new ideas. Frank, this certainly was a new idea. What are you doing with all the information, and what should Browns fans be doing with this information? Well, I, I, I can't imagine that she was ever going to be the coach. I mean, that's something that you need experience. I will say this, though, about her being in the front office. Go back to when Bo Schembechler went from being the coach of Michigan to being the president of the Detroit Tigers. I remember thinking years ago when the Knicks were looking for a president, hire Bill Parcells. That's a good organizational guy that knows how to run things. If you want to put her in a position like president, in a position of leadership where, you know, she could run an organization, I think that makes sense. Coaching is a little bit different. You really have to work at a much lower level, build your way up out of all the sports, more so in football than any other. Jackie sport. McMullen, what did you think when you first heard yeah. the report? I was like, wow. I mean, I knew Condoleezza Rice was a college basketball fan. I didn't know about this love affair with the Cleveland Browns. She's the only person left on earth just about that has this long-time love affair with the Cleveland Browns. So that didn't make a lot of sense to me. I would say this. I think there is a place for women coaches in football, just like I think there's a place for female coaches in every sport. But it should be Catherine Smith, who worked with the Bills, or Katie Sowers, who's been part of the 49ers, who has that background. And Condoleezza made that point Thank you. herself. I like Frank's idea. Get Condoleezza Rice, uh, Rice in the front office in some capacity because she's a brilliant woman who knows football. I'm all So for if that. it were to run the organization CEO style, Rice would be an attractive candidate to you, Jackie? Frank, it seems like you're saying yes to that. Absolutely. Bill? Absolutely. I think so, you sure. He'd here? be yes. a great candidate. Anybody who watched Hard Knocks could say that Condoleezza Rice could come in there and really and, 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 and get that uh, organization into shape. She'd be perfect. I think probably what happened was they probably mentioned her as a candidate just for the organization and somehow got morphed into the coaching candidate. I, I would seriously consider her. I would pursue her, bring her in there to run this show. I think she'd do a great job. I'm still shocked to hear all this because this is so far out of left field. I mean, I have to say this again, Clinton. When you first heard the report, you had to think, is there something that I'm missing here? And then when you heard the denials from the team and from Rice itself, what are you doing with all that information? Basically, I think as a result of everything you said, Tony, this is kind of embarrassing. Listen, it's not about Condoleezza Rice. She is a smart person that you would want in your front office, as everybody else has stated. But it makes the Browns look like they have no idea what they're doing when it comes to potentially finding someone to lead that team. And they've had a decent turnaround, in my opinion, in terms of Baker Mayfield and what the teams look like. And now you have this. It's not about Rice. It's about just the general left fieldness of it. I don't like it at well, all. Plash, get back in. No, I think it's just the opposite, Clinton. It shows the Browns are thinking outside the box. They're not going to hire as a head coach, but to bring her into the organization. I want the organization to do some forward thinking. What they've done in the past has not worked. Frank? Why not? Yeah, but I, I agree with what Clinton's saying. In terms of coaching, it makes a mockery of the whole process, even of the profession. I think in a lot of ways it embarrasses Condoleezza Rice. Putting her in a CEO position? Absolutely. Coach, come on. And now. Jackie Mack. So, and I can tell you this firsthand, if you're a female and you're in your industry, you don't want someone to offer you a job or talk about you for a job for publicity purposes. You want them to talk about it because you deserve the job, like Becky Hammond, like Nancy Lieberman, who are both yeah. assistant coaches in the NBA.